What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. <coughs> oh, I was not ready for this. <laughs> I had like a mouthful of water. <laughs> Anyways, today we will be talking about the GTA... Hold on, let me turn it down. The GTA Battle Royale. This was an episode I had planned for fictional fights, but was unfortunately unable to do because the show died. Horribly, like in a plane crash. Like it actually took control of the plane and crashed it itself. That's how that's how bad it died. Yeah. And it's kind of sad though because I did have like big plans for the GTA Battle Royale. Like I was gonna have this whole mission animated fight, but it turns out you can't get Franklin, Trevor, and Michael all in the same place at the same time and control them all for a video fight because they keep wandering off each time you switch. And you can't really hurt them with another character that's playable. It kind of sucks. So that's why there was no fight scene for this one. And I guess that's okay because it fits with the rest of the series since there's no fight scenes for any of them. Because I'm trying to avoid... I mean, people have offered to do fight scenes for it, but I'm just kind of like, yeah, Because I want to keep keep um, this show up without relying on fight scenes, if that makes any sense. Like, I want to do the whole thing myself, and I want to get it well known by itself without having to rely on a cool animated fight, because the versus shows are about the research and not the fight. Hopefully that makes sense somehow. I don't know how it does, but it probably will to someone. And I'm rambling because I wasn't ready for this. Mm. Uh, so, the, the way this GTA 5 Battle Royale came about was, I had actually gotten the game recently, um, I had a PS4, I got a PS4, that was the first ever console I completely bought myself with my own money. <clears throat> no parents giving it to me for, like, Christmas or birthday or anything, I bought the PS4 with my own money, so I'm very proud of myself for that. So my friend and I went to Walmart, got GTA 5, and played it like all night because it was so fun. And it was awesome. And I figured all three of the main characters are close enough in power and abilities and stuff, so I was like, you know what, how about I have them all fight each other and see who wins. And surprise, surprise, the characters you unlock in the order is the order they lose or win at. Like Franklin is the first you unlock, but he's also the first to lose. Michael's in the middle for both, and then Trevor's the last you unlock, and then he won the fight because he's obviously the strongest since he's the last you unlock. So I guess the gameplay did kind of get in the way somehow, but it was like unavoidable because they're just given those abilities and weapons and stuff at the start of their adventure, and Trevor just happened to have the way better ones out of the previous two. Like Trevor has a grenade launcher as a starter, like when you go shoot up the biker gang and all that. So it's pretty crazy. Uh, oh, also, I used four instrumentals for this video, and I asked in the comments if anyone could guess all four of them, um, then they'd get a shout out, but no one did. No one did. I used instrumentals to four songs because GTA 5 uses licensed music. So I was like, you know what, why don't I use hit songs too? So I put instrumentals to four songs in there. They said anyone who could guess them gets a shout out. No one did, so no one gets a shout out. Um, someone only the closest I got was someone saying I heard the the JoJo meme, the the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure to Be Continued meme in there. It's a song called Roundabout by the band Yes. He stayed there for nine years yep, that's what it was. Anyways, the other two, I am. Um, one of them you can hear here, here, here at this moment is My Way by Frank Sinatra. And then during the predictions section, it plays um, Clint Eastwood by the Gorillas. And during the results, it's another Frank Sinatra song called Fly Me to the Moon. I love both of those songs, My Way and Fly Me to the Moon. I love Frank Sinatra. So I was happy that I got a chance to use music in a thing. But I made sure to keep them super duper quiet so they didn't get copyright claimed. Alright, so the next fight is going to be Skipper versus Perry the Platypus. And people have already gone ham for that fight, so I'm kind of nervous about how it's going to end up. I mean, I already know how it's going to end up because I wrote this script. And woo. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Ooh. 
Trevor already had uh, a record of violent oh, impulses. Excuse me. They soon skyrocketed once his father. I can see what happens when I'm not prepared for these commentaries. Since then, he's supposedly done things like violate his hockey coach with a hockey stick. But yeah, Skipper versus Perry is next. I had to watch all of Phineas and Ferb. That took a while. Like I, I started watching it before I even announced universes because I'm like, I'm gonna do this fight because people request it. Because I got an odd amount, I got an oddly high amount of requests for Skipper versus Perry. So that's kind of crazy. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, Penguins of Madagascar and all that stuff. It's kind of cringy. <laughs> I used to think the series was like funny and all that, but I don't know. When I went back and watched it, I'm like, wow, this is not good. Because the animation is unbelievably stiff. It's like some of the worst an 3D animation I've ever seen. Like, I mean, stuff, at least stuff like Jimmy Neutron uh, moved smoothly. And that was like seven or eight years before Penguins of Madagascar the series came out. And Jimmy Neutron still looked better. Because all the textures look fine, they move smoothly. But in Penguins of Madagascar, they like jerk around and they move so stiff and all that. So I enjoyed Phineas and Ferb a lot more than Penguins of Madagascar. I mean, the movies of Madagascar are fine. I like them pretty good. Um, but not the series. So I hope you're excited to see Perry versus Skipper. These two be 